Okay, so we heard that you're going to Loyola University and pursuing your master's in education. Tell us a little bit more about what you plan to do with that and what your specific career goals are. Sure, yeah, so being a student athlete, I think in order to be successful, uh, the reality is we need a lot of mentors and we fall back on a lot of individuals during our time in college to be successful with our academics and um, you know our relative interests and so for me it's been always the mentors in the student affairs and student development departments that I've fallen back on during stressful moments and uh, I, quite ironically the ones that I've really um, aspired to be like or connected with are ones who have been student athletes themselves so my track for education is to go into higher ed and uh, to kind of become a mentor for future um, cohorts of college students, specifically women. Um, being a first generation student, it's uh, a little bit um, of a challenge when you step up into a college atmosphere and you're like, I, I know I can be successful, but I need to seek out the mentors. Who are those going to be? And uh, when you're going to an athletic world, um, you are automatically given your coaches and your teammates. But to have that also in the academic realm is a blessing. So for me, I want to go on. Um, and come back on the college scene, uh, you know, working with students who are going back and forth between dual practices, helping them navigate and be successful because that's why I'm sitting here in front of you all today. So, yeah. And as you mentioned, you are a first generation college student. Balancing academics and athletics is, is tricky. What, why was education so important to you, do you think? I, I think for me, it was always that. Um, you know, one success isn't more important over the other. I think that's why it's been so exciting to be part of the WCC and to be a part of an athletic department at Gonzaga that doesn't only celebrate success in a limited way. And what I mean by that is that, yeah, you're going to be a successful athlete, but there are multiple ways in which you do that. And habits are created in multiple um, settings, and that starts in the classroom. And I know this is something that it's nice to hear about, but I definitely think at Gonzaga and from just being at the conference um, championships, you see the WCC promote. And it's really cool because our success is based off of multiple outcomes. So it's, uh, it's definitely important and it's definitely something that it, as a student or as an athlete, I know a lot of the times you've heard us say this, we, either, we sometimes call ourselves athlete students or we're like, God, it just seems like we're just athletes. And I think that's because we struggle with that dissonance where if we had time as students, we'd be great students. And if we had time as athletes, we'd be great athletes. But we are presented with a challenge and the leadership in this room challenges the, the students you represent to you know, um, make us remember that we're doing something that is kind of inevitable. And it's really cool, the journey to doing that inevitable thing. So yeah. What do you think you've learned through your time at Gonzaga that's really helped you just maybe move forward on this next step of life between balancing you know, academics, athletics, and just your overall experience at Gonzaga? What do you think you've learned? I think it, it's, um, it's been already said, but I think something I've learned the most is good teams, surrounding yourselves with individuals and uh, not fearing individuals who challenge you because challenges are where you grow the most. And so I think I'm already starting to miss that. Um, with women's rowing ending only three weeks ago for me, it's been already kind of a, a little saddening to think that I won't have a group of individuals who are willing to wake up like at the most crazy hours in the morning, five in the morning, and where we are in Spokane, Washington, you know, rowing in the snow sometimes and worse. And just the people who can break limits and teach you that. I know I will find individuals like that. I think that's why I'm aspired to be around college students as I go on with my professional and academic work. But um, I don't think it'll be so, as concentrated. And I hope to provide that kind of, again, outlet for student athletes in the future who might be looking for that kind of motivation. So it's a great goal. Before we let you go, anything else you want to add? Yeah, I just kind of want to thank all the Zags here and all the ADs, all the leadership in this room that kind of put up with us student athletes we we definitely you know just about when you think you've uh, kind of nailed all the questions that we will throw at you or the predicaments that will we will you know create for you um, we present something new along the way and I think your patience and your leadership exemplify the way um, in which um, we want to step out in the ro world as uh, women and men for others so it's been cool um, to see this leadership and to be supported so that's all thank all you right, thank Go you Zach. congratulations yeah.